Hi, it's Derek from My Hosted Website, and today I've got an unboxing of a laptop that I've been waiting a very long time for. We're going to take a look at it now. Okay, so the laptop in this box is entitled, it's called a Clevo N130BU. Uh, otherwise known as the System 76 Galago Pro, which launched in April. Long story behind this, but you'll see as I unbox, you know, if you've been looking for a Linux, a Linux uh, laptop that you can install Linux on without any issues, uh, driver problems, something that's really light, uh, this is a 13 inch laptop, latest Kaby Lake uh, CPU, then this is something to consider. So let's open this up and let's see what this looks like. Um, now this has just been delivered via Correos today. I'm in Spain here. I ordered this from a company called rjtech.com on the 9th of May. And today is the 25th. I'm only just receiving this laptop. Not RJ Tech's fault. The laptop got from the US uh, to Spain in four days. The laptop has been sitting in customs since the 9th of May. Um, note to self, do not order anything from the United States to Spain via Correos because it takes forever and a day. Um, I had to pay taxes, obviously, I, I paid the taxes, and they've only just delivered it today. Anyway, long story, but it's here. So, yeah, this is the outer box. This is uh, the box it comes in, very unassuming um, box. I do believe that um, manufacturers who are reselling this, this uh, machine, like Exotic PC, might have their own branding boxing. I think uh, a company in Germany called Tux Tuxedo Computers, they send out their machines in this similar box, I do believe, I think. Or maybe they have their own branded boxes now, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is the box it comes in, very unassuming. Um, let's just open it up here. And take the machine out. That's the machine. Camera's getting this. Uh, let's just get everything out of the box. So, lovely small power supply. You can see very tiny um, standard barrel plug power supply there. Uh, okay, well, I've got the US uh, plug which is a standard cloverleaf plug on one end, so I could change that, it's no problem. Um, I have a uh, manual, instruction manual. Very nice for them to include a cleaning cloth. Cleaning cloth, uh, device drivers, and a manual. And I don't know what this is. Uh, possibly some sort of uh, maybe for hard drive internal now I ordered this from RJ Tech as I said um, and they do bare bones Clevo laptops now this is the same uh, specification model that you can get from System76 with one difference I was able to order my laptop from RJ Tech with absolutely nothing in it um, so by that I mean it's a 13.3 inch uh, quad HD glossy display, which is 3200 by 1800 uh, display. It's a high resolution display. It has the Intel integrated HD 620 graphics uh, graphics uh, card. Um, it also has the i7, this is the i7 version i7 7500U dual core processor, 2.7 gigahertz. Now it has no memory in it. There's no hard drives. You can fit uh, 
uh, an M.2 SSD and a two and a half inch SSD drive in there, of which I have both here, which is why I wanted a supplier where I could just order what how I wanted it. I've got 16 gigs of DDR4 memory here to put into the machine, some HyperX memory, which I already had. So I thought, why, why waste money getting a machine pre-populated with memory when I have it here? So I've got memory here. I also have a one, ter one terabyte SSD to put into this. And I also have a Samsung Evo uh, 500 gig, uh, two and a half inch SSD if I wanna put that in as well. So I've got plenty of storage to go into this machine. The one mistake I did make though, was that I should have ordered it with the Wi-Fi adapter card and I didn't. So I have to, I think I've got a, an M2, M.2 SSD, uh, sorry, Wi-Fi card hanging around so I can put an Intel Wi-Fi card or Broadcom is what, which I'm gonna try and get hold of one of those at a later date. But for the moment, this video I'm just gonna, is just a quick, quick unboxing of the machine. So let's just get to the machine. And this is what it looks like. So you have, hopefully the camera can see this. Let me just get the camera in a bit better here. So you can see, this is the base of the machine. As you can see on there, it says, let me spin it around to the camera. You can see the, hopefully you can see the details, the model. Don't know if you can get that. Sorry about this. I'm using my um, Logitech camera here, uh, webcam. Anyway, that's the machine. Uh, the front, it is very light, it is very light. Let's just get all of this off the table. Very light machine. Here's the keyboard. That feels a bit better than uh, previous keyboards. I have had the original Galago Ultra um, which had a major issue with the keyboard when that was released some some years ago. Um, this feels a lot better and better than I thought it, it would actually be. And that was one of the concerns I did have about this machine. Um, build quality is, this is probably the best built Clevo I've, I've seen. Now I had a system, seven, if you looked at, if you go through my videos uh, on YouTube, you'll see that I've done a video on the actual uh, System76 Clevo. Um, sorry, Oryx, Oryx Pro, um, which I sent back because it was just too big. I need, I wanted something under two kilos that I could carry around, which would replace my MacBook Pro. Um, I've since sold my MacBook Pro and my MacBook here. I've temporarily had uh, Lenovo Carbon X1, which I can show you here, which I'm going to compare this machine to in another video. Um, this is, this is really good. I'm quite impressed by the build quality, I've got to say. Um, as I said, one of the reasons I went for this over the System76 version, for me, it's the same hardware. Um, I get to customize it as I want because I, I wanted it just a bit with no memory, no, no nothing in it because I've got all of the components here, which has saved me money. And, and for this spec, cost me $749. Uh, and that was including, altogether, it cost me $930, including shipping to Spain. So if you're in the US, obviously shipping's gonna be a lot cheaper for you um, and taxes, etc. But I thought this was really good because uh, I wanted a machine with no branding on it, nice and clean. There's no cus you know, company stickers or em emblazoned branding anywhere, which is what I wanted. Um, and I've got pretty much the same spec. Obviously I can't power it up now because there's no memory, there's no hard drive in the machine. Um, so in the next video, I'm gonna install an OS and leave in the comments below. If you, wanna, if you want me to try any particular Linux distribution on here, I'm happy to put it on while I've got the machine in this state before I set up my, uh, my preferred distro on here and get, and get running with it. But out of the box, it's beautiful. I mean, let's, let's, let's quickly just go over the machine and have a look at the ports. So on the left-hand side of the machine, you've got the, let's try and get this camera angle right. Uh, you can see here you have the uh, separate headphone and microphone jack, which is good. Um, the actual power button is on the side, which is unusual. 
uh, which is unusual. Um, one USB free port is on this side of the machine. You can see here, oh God, I'm really struggling with this camera angle. Here we go. Right, so as you can see, we have the USB port here, USB free port here. There's also a SIM slot on this, which is unusual, but good, because my Lenovo X1 has got a SIM slot, which has been really useful, especially recently, having been uh, back in London with no internet, I've been able to put a SIM card in there and use the machine. So this might come in handy. I will obviously take a shot of this when I open the machine to see if this actually has the uh, SIM interface uh, the LTE interface actually in the machine, which I doubt because it's a beer bell machine, but we'll see. Um, and then the barrel power connector on that side. To the back of the machine, there are no ports as you can see here. It's uh, pretty clean. And on the right hand side of the machine is where we have all of the lovely ports here, which we're not getting on most uh, new machines nowadays. So you've got your Kensington lock here. You then have the flip down um, ethernet jack port, if I can get to it. Oh, there you, can, you can see it just comes down just enough for you to get an ethernet jack in there. Um, let's get this back in focus. Right, so you've got your ethernet jack, then we have a SD card slot and a HDMI port, a regular display port, another USB free port and this beauty here is a USB-C stroke Thunderbolt free port which is a full Thunderbolt port with four lanes so you will get the full benefit and speed a full 40 gigabits per second uh, connection to this with the right device connected or hopefully in the future external graphics uh, cards so that will be interesting to see how that's going to work but that's it that's the machine um i'll do another video with the when i have the machine open and um, show you the guts of the machine and, and go from there